Hola, como estas, amigos and amigas? Ooh, camera's a little shaky right now. It's no bueno. No bueno means no good in Spanish. So, um, once my camera starts shaking from driving on this stupid road, I can go ahead and touch the subject that I wanted to talk about today. <coughs> so, um... I wanted to talk about today about how porn ruins love. Um, so, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it, of course. So, um, as many of y'all don't know, I have been in a relationship for almost a year now. And uh, everything's been going well and everything. And uh, when you are in a relationship for a period of time, deeper and deeper into that relationship, um, like, you know how it goes. So, uh, now, I wanted to talk about how porn ruins love. So, as a male, we have urges, I guess you could say, um, due to hormones and stuff, and we have to get that settled sometimes, uh, for most people, sometimes it's probably before they go to sleep, or, you know, just whenever, whenever that hormone is set off, uh, in their body to let them know, like, hey, I need you to do something, uh, so that, uh, activity is accompanied by probably pornographic things, uh, videos, images, anything that's related to porn. Um, so a lot of times though, it becomes a daily thing for men. It, uh, happens over and over and over again. And, uh, they use the same methods with the pornographic this stuff and uh so uh becomes a daily thing and while males don't realize that it actually becomes an addiction um because if you keep doing it over and over and over again you don't want to stop you get used to it uh, so i was one of those males and I noticed, uh, in my beginning of my relationship, I would do that. And, uh, I noticed myself, um, due to this, I noticed myself looking at other girls, um, the way I shouldn't be. I noticed myself having thoughts of things that I shouldn't be thinking. I, uh was just like typical guy having thoughts and everything that shouldn't be happening even though I have a girlfriend and uh, I honestly think this was due to watching porn um, and like if you're if you're a guy and you say you've never watched porn or you don't watch porn you're a liar so uh, that's just every guy watches porn um, because the internet is a hefty little thing you can find anything on the internet anything that you want to search up and uh, you know a lot of people use the internet for porn behind closed doors uh, but yeah I blame myself on that for watching porn you know and honestly I believe that if I never watched porn or never even knew about any of that stuff, I wouldn't be looking at girls that way. And uh, so I was like, this has to stop. So I quit watching porn. And uh, when I quit watching porn, I noticed that it did stop. Like I stopped looking at girls that way. I stopped having those urges, you know. Uh, so. And I understand that it is a human nature thing. We were put on this earth to reproduce and multiply, uh, spread our seed as to be it. And yeah, but 
you the proper way you should do it is in marriage and with one person only for the rest of your life and uh, now um, as y'all all know the porn industry is a ruthless moralist like unmoral uh, disrespectful industry there are no morals in porn there's nothing and uh, these ladies don't have uh, self-respect for their self. They uh, probably have a bad past, so um, they probably need the money. It's an easy way to get money, but it's also an easy way to ruin your life, get into drugs. Um, I need to stop at the store and get a, uh, a Venom. I like Venom. Venom is really good. And uh, they don't have any respect for their self. And there's a lot of STDs in this industry, and it is horrible. It is horrible the things it does. But one thing that's real horrible about it is it's very consuming. People are very into it. There's a lot of money. It's one of the biggest industries on this planet. So I'm going to go grab a drink. I'll be back. I had to go pick up a Venom. Uh, this is an energy drink made by Dr. Pepper. It's like 83 cents. It's really good. So, uh, let's enjoy this for a second. Really good, 83 cents. Uh, eight grams of carbs, six grams of sugar, no grams of fat, nothing. Low calorie, has a 30 calories a can. It's really not bad. And it has 160 milligrams of caffeine. So, for all you lifters out there, that uh, fake rock star, or monsters good nope sorry um so where was I about the porn oh yes uh, so a lot of these people in porn have no morals um, their background of their life is probably bad they're probably struggling for money and financial income and uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do I understand that but I don't believe that that should be the route uh, and um, See, what else? Uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of money in the porn industry. Um, there's probably billions of dollars that go in there. Um, people pay. I mean, think about it. Uh, if you listen to interviews of people that do it, you get like two to four thousand dollars a shoot. Okay, just to have sex with somebody. Like everybody's like, yeah, that job's awesome, sweet. Um, and yeah, that sounds like, that sounds great. Like, oh, $4,000 to have sex with somebody. That's great. What's going to happen when I catch AIDS and have to go to the hospital and need to take medicine? Like, you know, like that $4,000 is going to be nothing after all that. And uh, so due to the porn industry, uh, a lot of men just disrespect women in ways with their eyes and with their mind. Um, they kind of view women as objects due to this, and uh, I just feel like that shouldn't be it. Uh, so I quit watching porn, and that has went away for me. That has stopped. And I am proud of myself, but I'm also really disappointed. Um, because a lot of kids uh, growing up, they uh, look at all this stuff and... Um, they look at girls, you know, and girls, they're showy in America, um, as in yoga pants or any kind of leggings, short, uh, like real short, uh, spandex pants wearing, uh, you know, they're showy with their shape. And, uh, and then that makes guys curious. That makes them start thinking. That's making them like, Ooh, I want that. Ooh, that looks so good. And, uh, it shouldn't be that way. Um, I know this is a like real bad topic I guess uh, but in the Middle Eastern uh, countries like Arab or Arabic um, women that wear full body um, now a lot of people are like that's so wrong they should have freedom blah 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 y'all gotta understand on a religious point that their religion men aren't supposed to look at women the way that American men look at women uh, they so imagine this okay imagine that you are Arabic your whole life okay you grow up as an Arabic person and every time you see a girl she's wearing a full body 
suit covered thingy, uh, herka or whatever they're called. Um, so your whole life you grow up like that and in your mind you don't think like you probably don't think like I want to hit that or anything because you can't see the shape of their body okay it does not show the shape of everything that they have of what they're showing I mean they're not gonna be like oh man those eyelashes turn me on so much Ooh, girl get over it. no um, so I kind of agree with it because on a religious point of view uh, it's kind of like it's preventing men from looking at women that way because again they grow up their whole life not seeing the shape of their bodies so they can't think about anything derogative towards them um, so I feel like you know and in the Bible it says you're not supposed to look at women in vain or you know derogative uh, you're supposed to be with you're supposed to have sex when you're married not have sex before marriage and for a lot of us that doesn't happen for some of us it does but um, you know this is America uh, the morals of the Bible sometimes are set aside uh, things a lot of people just set religion off to the side in America uh, because it's just pe different people are people so um, but uh, yeah so ooh, uh, yeah I so I believe that um, I kind of agree with the Middle Eastern thing but to an extent as in guys shouldn't be looking at them like that because they are godly they are godly like people so they believe in that and if they need women to cover their whole body up for them to keep their self from becoming an animal then they should do it so so guys um another thing when you do have a girlfriend and if you do watch a lot of porn and when y'all do y'all's uh thing behind closed doors uh you probably start to uh i don't know um due to you watching porn you probably start like imagining like your favorite porn star or something and that's wrong you shouldn't do that that doesn't create anything um when you are one with another there should be a special connection there should be a energy a special bond between each other and it should stay that way for the rest of your life it shouldn't be you know you have a moment with someone and then you don't feel a thing like there's no connection and then you drop them and go to someone else and the same thing and think same and the same thing it is wrong so and a lot of guys do that due to watching porn because they watch porn and they're like oh man all these guys do do all these girls and I want to be just like that I wonder if I can well you shouldn't because there is no emotion love there love is like an emotion of bonding between you and another um, so doesn't matter what kind of person you are uh, you know straight gay anything uh, there's a connection and a bond there's a specific energy between you two and if you just go for someone for one night or anything and you know that you're never gonna talk to them again that's wrong there's no connection there you know and uh, so and that's due to a lot of guys watching porn so therefore I uh, coming to conclusion and ending this episode off by saying porn ruins love okay so if you love your girlfriend or boyfriend whoever you are please please for the love of God okay stop watching porn all right um, the more and more you stop watching porn and the more and more porn dies down the less and less things of 
all of the stuff I just talked about happens. So there is no more of that that happens, okay? So it's been fun chatting. I have to go to school. Uh, Got to go to English class today. That's going to be fun. So y'all have a good day. Stop watching porn. It's very bad for you. And um, spread the word of love in Jesus, okay? All right. Bye-bye.